Today on Twitter, the whole Mars catalog Twitter user has shared this very interesting video of Tesla's full self-driving showing how much the full self-driving has improved. Look at this, Tesla's FSD beta is already so much more courteous to pedestrians and cyclists than your average human driver, says whole Mars catalog accompanying the video. Now, what's interesting, look at the case. Uh, it's kind of funny if you think the car for, uh, people are thanking the car for stopping, not realizing the human driver didn't lift a finger and it was software that stopped for them. In the case of the first example, notice how the car started moving over to give the bike extra room before it was even in the driver's field of view. It can do this because it has eye facing every direction at all time. So this is really interesting. Full self-driving has improved and I think Tesla is set to release full self-driving update this weekend and expanding beta fleet in June. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. So Tesla is set to release a new version of the full self-driving beta program this weekend with software update um, 10, 12. And CEO Elon Musk even said the automaker could expand the size of the beta fleet in June. Tesla has attempted to release updates and improvements to the full self-driving beta program every two weeks and has done a relatively good job of maintaining that schedule. However, version 10.11 was released in mid-March, so members of the beta program are hungry for improvements. Now, looking forward, are you ready to give up your driving? I kind of enjoy my driving. What about you? I mean, if once we get to level five, the, the, the steering wheel even will be taken away and getting a driver's license will be obsolete because today when you uh, fly on a plane, you don't need a special pilot's license, right? So what do you think about all of these friends? It is obvious it's, it's about time for the new software version to be rolled out to drivers and owners who are a part of the full self-driving FSD beta fleet as software version 10.12 is set to be released this weekend according to CEO Elon Musk. Musk said earlier this week that Tesla wouldn't probably release the software update to the full self-driving beta program this weekend as it has usually fallen on a Friday anyway. So thankfully, uh, actually to be honest, I don't know if this video is after the update by uh, whole Mars catalog just um, released that you know I, uh, so if this is in California it's still uh, daylight there kind of and it could be today after the release anyway we're seeing that uh, the full self-driving beta is already so much more courteous to pedestrians and cyclists than you could uh, your average human driver these days now um, Musk believes the already sizable fleet of full self-driving beta testers could expand as soon as next month he said it still needs a little more work, Musk said, but more users could be introduced in June. The update is set to introduce more detailed vehicle models, improvements to unprotected left turns, and fixes to a car's performance in heavy traffic. Exciting times, friend. What do you think about the full self-driving? Are you excited about this? Now, the current full self-driving has been working really good for some people. They say, well, for example, one person in Tesla, this article says, named Ben Creeley says, the current full self-driving has been working really good for me. I only disengage for people that tailgate me. Reminder for everyone that you can't compare the progress to a competitor. So I'm super happy with the progress so far and it's worth every cent of the full self-driving price. It is just saves one life. You know, full self-driving is very expensive. Uh, I think it's $12,000 right now. And I haven't seen any competitive that can have that type of advanced auto autopilot program. Now, uh, another person says, according to Elon, there are 100,000 FSD users. If each FSD user has driven just 2,000 miles with FSD, that's 200 million miles of driver monitored full self-driving. I haven't heard of any deaths or significant accident. That's extremely impressive, even with the human monitoring. The US car accident rate is one accident per 500,000 miles. And now we're talking about 200 million miles and not a death-related accident, thank God. That would make human monitored full self-driving about 400 times safer than human driving. What do you think, friends, about that? Now, there are several factors that may explain the low accident rate for those using FSD. First, 
as is stated at museum fsd is used mainly in being driving situation in benign driving situation i'm sorry second tesla drivers tend to be better drivers would you agree with this i don't know i'm just asking you attention to the road is increased when fsd is engaged and four fsd actual does enhance driving safety for all these reasons uh, one person his name is clara says i engage full self-driving for 90 percent of my driving looking forward to the new update she said okay this is very interesting and exciting what do you think about this video friends let me know your thoughts subscribe to our channel as i'm going to bring you more updates about full self-driving and tesla anyway this is armen harian from torquenews.com please visit our website also for daily tesla news ring the bell after you subscribe and give us thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it and i'll see you soon in our next report